So guys, it's the 10th of June, another little update. So we were sat here last night enjoying a glass of something in the evening sunshine, as you do. And I was just casting my eye over these blueberry bushes and I noticed one branch just didn't look the same as the others. So I stood it for a while and I was convinced it was willow. And uh, anyway, I took a picture, I've just found out about that Google lens. So I took a picture and what came up? Salix, the Latin name for willow. So I managed to pull it out and, uh, you know, look at the root on it. But I'm glad I got the thing out. And, uh, you know, the leaf, the leaves just aren't the same at all when you, you know, they're sort of like a bit more serrated around the edge and we've got this different colour underneath than the... Uh, Blueberry, so I was glad to uh, get that in time really because if uh, if I'd have cut it off It would have just grown back stronger than ever and then I would I'd have had to tip the whole thing out of the bucket to get it out So that was a good call and then the other thing just to Feed back on is I've just sown some more carrots in frame two and uh, I'm using the it's is it Chantenay Red cord it's kind of a more dwarfing carrot, but that's fine just using this plank method um, to help with the germination. If you show you frame one next door, I use the plank method on that as well and I'm hoping you can see that it's been fairly successful. Got uh, quite good germination. Alright so another little job I'm doing today is just repotting these fig cuttings. So before I do I just wanted to show you um, the outcome of the the roots. Really nice. So that was in coca choir, which is in there. I'll just put that into the compost bin. Um, I had three, but I've lost one, so I've got two now. So I'm going to pop those up, and uh, it's encouraged me to give it another go next year. So we'll see if we can get better than uh, two. This is just a mixture of the municipal compost. The Westland peat base with John Innes added and some vermiculite. So, yep, catch you later. Bit of a surprise. Uh, this was the third one that had leaves on. Well, a leaf dropped off, but as you can see, it's actually got uh, quite nice roots on it. So, I'm going to pop that one up as well. And uh, if I just pan you around slowly, you see down there by the carrot tank. Uh, there's four more, so I've actually got five out of seven rooted. Two have only got leaves, but I'm, I'm going with the assumption that as long as the roots are healthy and they've got water and nutrient, then at some point buds will burst and uh, that'll be five out of seven, so I'll keep posted on that. 12th of June, Sunday, and uh, just want to show you that's the first beetroot harvest. Just pull those out now from multi sown beets, not big, sort of golf ball size, but they should be absolutely superb, really sweet. So happy with that. And just next to the carrot tank, I've kind of moved all my seedlings and seed trays and everything. It's a bit shady under here. Those are the figs that are potted up, and uh, that is dill just there. And just notice the one sole potato bucket I'm doing, uh, Mary's Piper main crop. So as you can see I just need to uh, top that up again, they come through. I'll top that up. Okay, catch you later. Alright guys, so it's June the 18th. We've just come back, we've had a couple of days, uh, our first camping trip in the van and it, it was a success I'm happy to say, so we'll definitely be going again. Anyway, this morning I've just been uh, sowing seeds, so very quickly we've got uh, basil, Coriander coming through, uh, parsley just coming through, cabbage also I think just coming through, that is dill I've just sown, some more Ferrari beans I've just sown, spinach, beetroot, spring onion and that's more savoy there and um, the primo cabbage I potted on there looking good. I really need to get that kale out at some point really. I've started to thin out the stew on onions so as you can see I need to thin them down to two so I've still got 
quite a bit of thinning to do but I need to get that done really quite soon so they've got time to bulk out a bit. Uh, Char's looking good, I've been cutting that back quite a lot to encourage it to grow more and we had our first harvest of these um, Deuce Provence. I'm going to pick some more today for tea tonight but they're a really good pea, highly recommend those. And um, yeah, I just planted out, this is dill, I just planted that out now, sown some more. And you can see, uh, I'm hoping you can see, that just in a few days, these are pongo beans. They've really, they've really made up a lot now. And the other thing here is this cheeky curie squash. I need to get that leader tied into the trellis there so it can start scrambling up and then trail it on like I did last year that was very successful uh, again these are Ferrari beans they're starting to flower uh, this pat choy that's gone to seed it's just been too hot so I'm going to rip that out I'm probably going to plant this other half with um, dwarf French beans you know so I'll have a succession really and uh, yeah, courgettes are looking good. There's actually, I can see one on there now. Just looking down here. This is the sowing of carrots that I did with the plank method. I'm hoping you can see that's been a great success. If I just spin to this other frame, it's not, I haven't, didn't have as much success here back from those two rows, but that's all right. That's fine. So the the wife's uh, planters are looking much, much better now since uh, she started using liquid plant foods. To say that we use that Aldi compost and it was just <laughs> crap for want of a better word. But now she's been feeding them. You can see the difference. They're, they're totally different again. And in our little herb garden, the mint uh, that took from cuttings, that's grown away very nicely now. I'm letting this parsley run to seed so I can collect seed off it. And this is fresh parsley from sown from this year. This one here, I've got some more coming through. I've caught her out again using it as a laundry room in the greenhouse. <laughs> but, hey, you know, let's save energy. Uh, the Rapunzel cherry toms are looking great. Um, we're on to the third truss now. And if you can see, they're setting some fruit there. So I'll be starting to feed any time now, any day now and uh, just remove some of the lower leaves and these are the crimson crush again they're setting fruit and uh, looking pretty good and boy is that irrigation system proved worthwhile so thanks very much as always for watching i do appreciate your support it's been a busy time for me just now so it's quite hard to make regular videos but uh, do keep watching and if you're not subscribed to the channel please consider doing so and i'll see you in the next one bye for now